We turn now to the latest in the case of two cousins accused of killing four young men at a Bucks County farm back in July. Both Cosmo Donardo and Sean Kratz were scheduled for hearings today. And as Action News reporter Norman Shannick explains, one of those preliminary hearings produced several new and disturbing details. Grim details of the murders left some family members in tears today as they sat in court for the hearings of the two cousins accused of killing those four young men in Bucks County this summer. Family members of the victims were brought into court through a side door so they could watch 20-year-old Cosmo DiNardo of Ben Salem waive his preliminary hearing. DiNardo was facing charges of conspiracy, murder, abuse of a corpse, and robbery in connection with the deaths of Dean Finicaro, Jimmy Patrick, Mark Sturgis, and Tom Mayo. Their bodies were discovered in July, buried on a DiNardo family farm in Solberry. They uh, uh, didn't get to see him face to face, but they certainly saw him. He appeared to be uh, a uh, cowardly uh, individual on that uh, screen, uh, on that video in a uh, prison uh, where he belongs. 20-year-old Sean Kratz of Northeast Philadelphia, DiNardo's alleged accomplice, did not waive his preliminary hearing. Some family members wept when they listened to details of how the four young men were allegedly shot by DiNardo, who then moved their bodies with a backhoe, burned and buried them. Police say Kratz described it as a massacre. I wish there was another word that could more aptly describe what happened, but that, I mean, that's, that's a very... That's a very good word to describe what these, these four boys went through. Kratz indicated in his own words was a massacre. Uh, they went out for a post-massacre cheesesteak meal. Uh, it is an unconscionable and uh, outrageous. You heard what I heard, and what we heard was that my client places himself at the scene of these killings, and that is all that he said so far. The defense presented no evidence or argument at the hearings. Both men are being held until trial. Their next court appearance is October 6th when they face arraignment.